It runs on just one rail, yet doesn't tip over. And it's the latest hype in Germany. The monocab aims to combine the best of taxis and trains. Will we be seeing monocabs everywhere in the coming years? Monocabs fascinate people from around the world, as the futuristic vehicle made in Germany could transport passengers almost anywhere on Earth, on standard train tracks. Could this spark a revolution in rail transport? Battery powered, they can travel on disused tracks, completely autonomously, ordered via app to the desired stop. Monocabs can travel through rural areas where regular trains no longer run. We wanted to develop a vehicle that's as good as your own car in terms of size and individuality. And the problem with single track routes is you can only go in one direction, as two-way traffic isn't possible. The Monocab's creators, a consortium of several research institutes, regularly organize visitor days for interested parties. People from all over the world come to Germany for a test ride. In extreme rural areas in India, we need, there are very sparsely populated populations which are nucleated, which means they are um, scattered. And to connect them and take them to a different spot, maybe let's say a hub from where we can transport through a uh, main railway network, that would be very beneficial for them. We need a little bit bigger space because uh, right now uh, what we have seen that you can sit only like three to four people in one uh, cab or one uh, car. So yeah, if, if we can make it in a, like a bigger size, then it would be much better. I feel like the crowd wouldn't really trust it that much. Uh, but in the future, I would love to see it, of course. But uh, yeah, I think all the stereotypes and mistrust in AI and all the um, like optimizational part, I feel like people wouldn't trust it. But it's just my opinion. How willing are people to accept this new mode of transport? Its makers had a fancy model built to learn more about people's wishes. Would potential passengers actually use the monocab? What's being discussed a lot is the safety aspect in a smaller, narrower space than we're used to on public transport, especially when it comes to other passengers who may not know each other and who, for whatever reason, could behave aggressively. And this on the kind of remote routes the monocab is intended for. Those aspects concern people. Could passengers like these cause the monocab to tip over? How safe is it, anyway? The vehicle is kept upright by these gyroscopes, and a weight underneath also stabilizes the passenger cabin. As with a spinning toy top, the spinning motion holds it in a vertical position. Stop that, and it could fall over. The stabilization technology, roll stabilization, is designed to cope with worst case scenarios, for example, very heavy passengers sitting on one side and crosswinds of up to 45 kilometers an hour. With vandalism, such as rocking inside the cabin, it would be practically impossible to cause the vehicle to tip over or sway significantly. You simply can't generate enough dynamic forces on this 1.2 meter width, even if soccer fans are partying in it. But can the monocab be operated economically to make it a success, especially if cabins must be booked for single individuals to increase the sense of safety? It's expected each cabin will later cost as much as a luxury automobile. It can't be too costly, and operation, maintenance and upkeep must also be affordable. We need to work on that, so the team that's designing the cabin is looking at precisely these aspects. Lightweight construction, fast production, good operation and cleaning. Solutions must be found now. Just one prototype currently exists, and it's constantly being subjected to new tests. The developers are seeking investors to prepare the monocab for series production. The Germans firmly believe in its success, perhaps naively, considering that monorails have yet to achieve a major breakthrough since their invention in 1907. Concepts that weren't compatible with roads or the existing rail network all failed. But we're moving in this railroad space, so we don't need our own new infrastructure like maglev trains or other monorails. 
So far, the project has received 29 million euros in state funding. By 2032, it should be ready for series production. By then, its makers hope to have solved a major problem. We can't cross over switches yet. One thing is certain. In everyday operation, the monocab won't be economically viable without state subsidies. Like all public transport in Germany.